everybody, it's Kara, and I thought I would give you an updated look at my mini Sendak. If you guys remember, I got this a few weeks ago, and I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to use in it right away, but I did figure that out, and I wanted to show you kind of what I have in here. This gorgeous item is something that was created by Peg and Owl, and I will put a link down below to their shop in case you're curious. I have purchased another bag from them, which I think I showed you guys. It was one of their readers, which is really cute. Um, also made out of canvas, but a different color. This particular color is their black. It is called Coal, and it has a black leather strap, and you can see... It says the mini Sendak on there, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you what I have inside. I decided, once I had a couple days to think about it, that I was going to put the things that I was gonna be using for my Inktober project in here. So that's kind of how I um, determined what I was gonna put in here. I do wanna mention before I get started, I think when I did the unboxing, I failed to mention that there were two pockets in the back. Right now, this one has my little Hobonichi stencil. I mainly have this in here for a straight edge. Um, I typically have one of those with me all the time. And then normally it, this pocket has that little mini uh, watercolor palette, but I actually have it out and I've been using it, so it's just not in there at the moment. But it does fit in there. The strap still closes and all that good stuff. So here is what I have. I thought I would start with the pocket here. Okay, so I put several things in here. I have a black wing pencil in here. Um, I could have put it up here, but this is kind of just a fallback pencil. I liked that it fit in the pocket and I just decided to keep it in there. I have pencil lead for the mechanical pencil that's in here. I have a kneaded eraser, which I have been finding very useful. I have a blending stump in here too. I have just some little um, stamped mini palettes. This is from that um, stamp set that was created by Daniel Donaldson and um, done in collaboration with Stamping Bella. So I keep those here in case I want to do that. I have my other favorite eraser, which is the Tombow eraser. This is kind of like a regular eraser side and a sanded side or sand side. I love that thing. And then somewhere in here, I of course, because I have pencils in here, have one of my little um, favorite sharpeners. I have a couple of these. I think this is called a bullet sharpener. I'm not sure, it's kind of shaped that way, but I love it. It's brass, it's nice and heavy, and it does an excellent job. So as you can see, you can fit quite a bit in this little side pocket, and I could probably fit a few more things, but this has all the basics that I need. Let me put all that back in there. The zipper works great, I really love it. So in the back, you can see that I have all of those lovely Derwent Color Soft pencils that I showed you guys. I haven't actually used any of these yet in my Inktober project. I keep forgetting about them for some reason. I've been very into the pencil, a little bit of the pen, and a little bit of white ink. So this has been taking a back seat, but they will be used soon. I do wanna mention one of the things with the black and probably with the other colors as well is I did have some pickup from the colored pencils. Obviously the lead and stuff rubbed off when I folded it down. I'm sure that it would wipe off just fine, but I'm not bothered by that. I think it gives it a really kind of lived in and used look, and that's what I want for this. I don't want anything to be like super precious or, you know, anything about anything like that about this one. So that's what I have in the two back pockets. As you can see, I've got lots and lots of different colors, mostly lighter colors was what I was going for. Um, I can purchase those individually at a local art shop, which is both good and bad, I guess. Um, and I went back and got colors a couple times. So then in these front kind of smaller pockets, I have a variety of things. Over here, I have what is basic, basically just a very simple mechanical pencil. It is the automatic pencil P200 in a 0.5. Um, now I like this pencil a lot. I also like this one, which I typically keep on my desk and in my it usually goes in my um, superior labor pen roll. So these two are kind of tied for, I don't know, favorite mechanical pencils right now. But one of the reasons I really like this one is because I have a, I think it's a 2B lead in here, which allows me to smudge it out a little bit more than a harder lead would. And I'm really liking that effect in some of my sketches. 
I also have three smaller sized um, kind of like fine liner type pens. I found this Micron that I totally forgot I had. This is in a .003. It's brown, so it'll be very, very tiny. If you want to look at it, you can see how small it is. But I'm kind of liking that for what I'm doing. And then these next two are along the same lines. I have a Copic right here in a .05 which as you can see is very tiny. And then I have this um, Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen, also in black. This is in an extra small. I do not know what the equivalent is, but I'd say it's very close to the .05. And I'm really liking these. I'm finding that I get really nervous when I try and sketch straight from a pen, especially one that has a larger nib size, if that makes sense. Um, I like to sketch in pencil much better. I like to add details in finer lines. I just feel more comfortable with that so far. So I've been using these just a little to kind of, you know, get more comfortable with using ink in sketches. Uh, then I have a couple of white pens. I have this one and I have this one. Um, usually these are turned around. So I have the Sakura um, Jelly Roll pen. This is just in a, a white ink. It's kind of the standard one that a lot of people use. And then I have this paint pen. This is a Posca, Posca? I'm not sure how you want to say that, in an extra fine. There are a couple different versions of this pen. I will tell you that I have tested out a lot of white pens. I could show you in another video all the ones that I have. And these two, in my opinion, are the best that I've ever found. This one in particular is awesome. But again, there's a couple different versions of this. So if you go looking for it, really look at those um, nib sizes because this is the smaller of the ones that I found. Um, and I just absolutely love it. I will be getting more of these, guaranteed. I'm using them quite a bit in my Inktober um, little watercolor project. And then I have this, also uh, another Sakura pen. This is a, I think it's called a Stardust. It's uh, got a clear glitter in it. I actually picked up a couple more of these because I'm enjoying it so much. Um, I like the little details it adds. You'll see me show you in my video, if it's not already out there, in my um, update for Inktober. I've used this one quite a bit too because it's, of course, it gives glitter to the little pictures and little pieces and parts and, you know, I'm a glitter girl so I love that. And then over here in the very last little pocket is this water brush. This is a, let's see, Pentel water brush. I recently got this in a smaller one. I hadn't used them before, so I wanted to try it out. I'm really liking it, but I have to tell you, I don't see a ton of difference between this and other water brushes I use, other than, of course, the style of the body. Um, so I'm, if you guys are interested, let me know, and I can do a quick video on all of the other water brushes that I have and give you just brief thoughts on those. I will say that this pocket on this side is a little bit bigger, which allows kind of the larger pop, um, larger body of this brush to go in here. If I didn't have that there, I could actually fit two of these um, pens in here. So just kind of keep that in mind. Obviously, you can figure out what you'd want to put in your send neck should you get one. There is a larger size of this too if you don't think this is enough room for you. Just putting it out there. I happen to love this particular size. I am completely pleased with this purchase. I will say, um, I do want to mention, kind of touched on it here when I was talking about kind of the color coming from the lead. The black does show, you know, little pieces of fluff or whatever. So for example, you can see that it has little fuzzies and stuff on there. Some of it's coming from the leather strap because, you know, with use it just kind of sloughs off. And if you are not someone who can deal with that, um, you're going to want to get a different color as to not show, you know, kind of the little bits of fluff and things that just automatically, you know, get on stuff. Um, I'm determined that this is going to be used and abused and loved. I'm not going to be overly precious with this, and I haven't so far. I've tossed this in my bag to take with me when I go to work. Um, it is 
it's great. I mean, I really like this. It's a good size for me. I love the shape of it. And I'm really pleased with the things that I have inside and how much I was able to fit in it. That was kind of my bigger concern. You guys all know I am not a minimalist kind of girl at all. And this is, you know, still a good size to give me a lot of options. So if you guys have any questions or comments about it, let me know. I will put a link down below, like I said, to the Peg, Peg and Owl shop in case you want to check this or anything else out that they created. Um, and I will, you know, touch bases with you guys in another maybe couple of months to let you know how I'm feeling about this um, particular um, item. I have a feeling it's going to be something that I keep and I use for a very long time. So once again, questions and comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you are having a great day wherever you are. Bye, everybody.